Last year, Russian scientists made a startling discovery, a furry puppy buried beneath frozen mud for an astonishing 18,000 years. This remarkable find offered a glimpse into prehistoric animal life and raised questions about its relevance to modern-day pet dogs. The puppy, initially thought to be a dog, was uncovered by locals in the Russian region of Yakutia. A team of scientists at Northeastern Federal University in Yakutsk, the capital of Yakutia, embarked on the task of studying this extraordinary specimen. The pup was unearthed in the summer of 2018, encased in a frozen muddy mass near the Indigoka River, northeast of Yakutsk. Incredibly, the puppy's entire body remained remarkably intact, from its well-formed snout to its whiskers and eyelashes, all preserved by the permafrost. Yakutsk, where the discovery occurred, is renowned for its extreme cold during the winter months, as illustrated by the viral photo of a woman with frozen eyelashes in the city. Initially, scientists surmised that the puppy might have perished just a century or two ago due to the unique preservation conditions of the permafrost. However, radiocarbon dating conducted by researchers in Stockholm revealed the astonishing truth about its age. A collaborative global effort ensued to learn more about this prehistoric creature. A piece of the puppy's bone was dispatched to the Stockholm Center for Paleogenetics, where carbon dating tests were conducted. Scientists at the center, in collaboration with their Russian counterparts, chose an apt name for their newfound companion, Dogor, a Yakutian term meaning friend. This tiny furball, frozen for 18 millennia, appeared remarkably well-preserved, with whiskers and teeth intact, giving the impression that it had passed away just recently. Following a thorough physical examination, scientists confirmed that the puppy was male, with all its limbs, pelage, teeth, and nose almost as pristine as the day it had perished. Love Dullin, a professor at the Stockholm-based center, extracted DNA from the puppy's bones to ascertain whether it was truly a dog or perhaps a wolf, adding to the intrigue surrounding this discovery. With its fur, skeleton, teeth, head, eyelashes, nose, and whiskers still in impeccable condition, scientists undertook comprehensive tests to determine whether Dogor had been a domesticated pet or a wild animal. The quest to unveil the answer was an exhilarating endeavor for these researchers. In an interview with the Associated Press, Dullin revealed, We have now generated a nearly complete genome sequence from it, and normally when you have a twofold coverage genome, which is what we have, you should be able to relatively easily say whether it's a dog or a wolf, but we still can't say. Dylan acknowledged that usually initial DNA tests swiftly distinguish between a wolf and a dog. However, in this instance, the identification remained elusive, adding to the intrigue of the discovery. Sergi Fedorov from the Institute of Applied Ecology of the North expressed anticipation for further test results, stating, this is intriguing. What if it's a dog? We can't wait to get results from further tests. Scientists have plans to conduct a third round of genome sequencing in the hope of resolving the mystery surrounding the puppy species, whether it was a dog or a wolf. The significance of these findings lies in the insights they provide into the history of dogs and the timeline of their evolution from wolves. Scientists hold varying theories regarding the origins of dogs, making any evidence that enhances our understanding crucial. Some propose that dogs emerged roughly 15,000 years ago from a lineage of extinct wolves, while others contend that this transformation could have transpired as far back as 30,000 years ago, with wolves evolving after generations of exposure to human domestication. While the specific species of the recently discovered puppy remains undetermined, it raises an intriguing question. Could it be the elusive transitional species bridging the gap between wolves and dogs? This is the inquiry that researchers are now diligently pursuing. The melting permafrost in Russia's Far East, spurred by climate change, has yielded a wealth of prehistoric animals preserved beneath freezing conditions. In recent years, we've seen the astonishingly well-preserved remains of prehistoric mammals, including woolly mammoths, canines, a woolly rhinoceros, and even a horse's foal. These discoveries enrich our understanding of life on Earth millennia ago. Climate change and global warming have accelerated the melting of frozen regions worldwide, unveiling perfectly preserved prehistoric animals concealed beneath the Earth's frozen surface. In October, 
the Russian Navy unveiled the existence of five previously unknown islands in the Arctic due to glacial melting. Furthermore, in January, researchers from the University of Colorado Boulder revealed landscapes in the Canadian Arctic hidden for more than 40,000 years, all due to melting glaciers. Over the past decade, Yakutia in Russia has witnessed a surge in unique discoveries resulting from rapid climate change. Sergei Fedorov, a scientist at Northeastern Federal University, emphasized the palpable impact of climate change, stating that both scientists and local inhabitants strongly feel its effects. Winters arrive later, springs commence earlier, and the consequences are unmistakable. Interestingly, it is often mammoth tusk hunters who stumble upon these prehistoric frozen specimens. Dr. Standen, a research fellow at the Center of Paleogenetics in Stockholm, noted that treasure seekers occasionally employ water cannons to penetrate the permafrost and retrieve mammoth ivory tusks, which are subsequently sold. As for Dogor, the remains of this prehistoric puppy now reside in a private facility at the Northern World Museum, where ongoing scientific investigations aim to unravel the history of this captivating creature. While the precise cause of Dogor's demise remains elusive, there are no indications of distress at the time of death. Researchers are diligently conducting studies to glean insights into the pup's life and the circumstances surrounding its untimely passing. Although the cause of Dogor's death remains a mystery, it is unquestionable that scientists will persist in their efforts to unearth as much knowledge as possible about this enchanting and enigmatic creature.